How's it going everybody? Jason here. Thanks for checking out the channel today. So I'm going to show you how to use your Headrush Core for recording in a situation where you want a dry DI signal and you want to record the amped signal at the same time. So all you need obviously is your Headrush device and an audio interface with more than one input. So this should work fine on the Prime, which is the big Headrush device. I have the Core, which is the one in the middle of the product line. And I'm assuming this should work on the Flex Prime, which is the smallest pedal unit that has the expression pedal and three buttons because it also has left and right outputs on the back. And I think the software is all identical for all their devices, except for the auto tune and the vocal processing, I think is the only thing that's different. So let's get into what you need to do to set your device up to record this way. So the first thing you need to do is to configure your routing options. And this is pretty simple. So from your main menu, go into global settings, click on audio, so by default, it's going to be in basic mode. So this is where you can set your vocals and your different guitar signals to be routed through whatever outputs that you want. So click on advanced. This will bring up the screen where you can output these to three different buses. And that also unlocks the hardware output section here. So because I'm going to be using the quarter inch out, I want to select split half, and this will split the left and the right so I can output them separately from the outputs on the back. And then scroll back up and make sure you have your guitar set to one and your alt guitar set to two. You can flip them if you want, doesn't matter. You can output your guitar to two and your alt guitar to one. But what that will do is the top signal in your rig where you're splitting the signal will go through output one and your bottom signal will go through output two. So go back into your rig settings. I've already got one set up here. You can use any of the split options. So in your options up here at the top, any of the middle split options will work for setting this up. So this really just depends on how much processing you want to do before and after the split. So I'm going to be recording with this and I've got basically nothing on the bottom signal path there. But what I actually want to do is I want to mm -hmm. compress the signal for both. So I want to run it through a compressor first then the top signal is going to go through the B, uh, the B dist 7000 pedal and then my amp in my cabinet and then to the output. The only other thing that you have to do is go into your mix options here and you want to set your pan A to be negative 100%. So that means the top row is going to be going through the left output and pan B to a 100%, meaning the bottom signal is going to go through the right channel. Now, just to do a quick recording thing and show that this is obvious, I'm gonna put just some crunch and I'm gonna put uh, a phaser or a flanger on the right channel. So uh, when I record with this, you'll hear the obvious differences. Okay, so now that my device is all set up, I'm going to create a new project in Logic and I'm going to have two tracks here. I'm going to have my bass amped and then I'm going to have my bass DI signal here. And I want my amped signal to come in through input three and input four for my other one. Arm these for recording and let's just quickly record something. All right, so that's all there is to it. It's actually pretty cool that you can split all the different outputs because you can do some really cool things if you're going to use it for recording or if you're going to use it in a live setting. And I think in a live setting, what is really neat is you can output your dry vocal signal through one channel and then you're processed through another. So if the sound guy doesn't like the way your effects work, they can shut those off and they can use the dry signal and the onboard processing for whatever sound system is set up. But that little flexible options for the output routing is actually pretty cool. I'm going to be doing a full review of the Headrush Core. I've had it for maybe two or three months. I've used it live two or three times and uh, look for that to be coming out soon. So hit like and subscribe. See you next time.